はい、ではですね、これから。How to make We will use 2 liters of water, 20 grams of kombu kelp, which is 1% of water, and 40 grams of bonito flakes, which is 2% of water. The amount of bonito flakes differs in region. Kansai, Osaka region prefers more kombu flavor, while Kanto, Tokyo region prefers stronger and bonito flavor. The ratio of kombu and bonito varies depending on the region and also by each restaurant. Clean the kombu surface with water to wipe off the dust before using and cook from water. You can soak the kombu in water the night before and keep it in the refrigerator overnight to maximize the extraction of flavor. Turn on the heat. Keep the temperature between 65 to 70 degrees. This is the ideal temperature for the umami flavor to come out. Never boil the water. After you cook for 20 minutes, and if you see the kombu has soaked enough water, the kombu flavor is extracted. If you want more kombu flavor, you can keep cooking for another 10 minutes. Never boil the water. Take out the kombu kelp. This will be kombu kelp broth. We can use it to marinate vegetables, etc. Used kelp can be frozen to store, and once you have a certain amount, you can make tsukudani, a preserved food boiled down in sweetened soy sauce. Heat up the pot just before boiling and add in bonito flakes. It s now 90 degrees. I'm going to put in bonito flakes. All at once. Bring up to 95 degrees and turn off the gas. Again, do not boil. I turn off the gas. Leave the snakes this for about 10 minutes. Time will differ by season and quantity, but the guideline is if you start to see the surface become wet and the bonita flakes start to sink a little, it's time. Ten minutes now, and I will strain this. Place the paper over colander. Do not squeeze the ingredients. This is the premier dashi, ichiban dashi of kombu kelp and bonito flake. 